Seeing as how these claws are adamantium, you gotta ask yourself, do I feel lucky? One of the biggest successes in the Marvel Universe is the creation of the iconic Canadian mutant and Weapon X, Wolverine. His unique mutation grants him unbelievable abilities, such as his unique bone claws, enhanced senses, and a powerful healing factor. Hold it, electronic beams. You can detect the infrared spectrum? I can smell them. After undergoing experiments that resulted in an indestructible skeleton and adamantium claws, he joined the X-Men in their mission to establish peace between humans and mutants. While Wolverine has appeared across various mediums like comics, video games, and films like the highly anticipated Deadpool and Wolverine movie, his television appearances are quite the spectacle. To find out about his different on-screen storylines, I'll be your guide as we delve into the evolution of Wolverine through the decades. Number 1. Spider-Man and his amazing friends His role is relatively small for his first appearance as he's more of a background character. It all starts when Firestar and Iceman suit up to head to the X-Men reunion and encounter Spider-Man along the way. Meanwhile, Spider-Man comes across Juggernaut who reveals he's after the X-Men. Back to the others, Firestar and Iceman arrive at the X-Mansion for the reunion. Cyclops then introduces Firestar to their newest X-Man, Wolverine, in his blue and yellow suit, who offers a piece of fruit. But just as things seem normal, Juggernaut suddenly smashes through the wall and crashes the party. Wolverine is the first to react. You'll have to go through us first. But Cyclops blasts him, forcing the battle outside. When Juggernaut breaks through the defenses, Wolverine steps up to attack him. Now it's my turn! And jumps in headstrong to try to remove his helmet. Although he makes successful strikes, Juggernaut ultimately throws Wolverine into a brick wall, forcing his claws to get stuck. He eventually escapes, and once Spider Man removes Juggernaut's helmet, Professor X stops his rampage, so Wolverine celebrates with the X Men and Spider Man. Number 2 Pride of the X Men now we finally move on to a series focused on the X-Men, which featured Wolverine more. This show, however, never made it past the pilot due to financial issues and ownership. A revamped series was later developed, which we'll get to next. Now, let's dive into the pilot, where Wolverine is sporting his brown and yellow suit, albeit with an Australian accent. Wait till I get my claws on him! When Professor X introduces Kitty Pride to his X-Men, Wolverine is seen in the danger room, battling a robot statue. However, after the simulation ends, Kitty is frightened upon seeing Nightcrawler and accidentally ruins the control panel by phasing through it. For this amateur mistake, Wolverine walks away angrily and opposes the idea of Kitty joining the team. Welcome her, wait, she's not joining the X-Men, is she? She's just a kid! Storm retaliates and Wolverine calms down. Suddenly, an alert goes off so they respond to battle Blob and Pyro. The X-Men return to the mansion, only to find it in ruins after a confrontation with Magneto and Juggernaut. Wolverine finds Kitty, but continues to protest her involvement countless times. Course it's all been real. Get with it. The X-Men don't have room for warning brats. As Charles learns of Magneto's catastrophic plan to redirect a comet to Earth to eliminate humanity, he agrees with Wolverine's demand that Kitty stay behind. The X-Men infiltrate his asteroid, where Wolverine fights Toad, while Nightcrawler heads to stop Magneto. Amidst the chaos, Kitty suddenly arrives to help thwart Magneto's goal. As the X-Men regroups on the Blackbird, Wolverine admits she was lucky, but she's not an X-Men, yet. So the kid got lucky that don't make her an X-Men. Not yet. Number 3. X-Men The Animated Series Considered as one of the peaks of X-Men, Wolverine is finally a primary character and an integral part of the series. He has a captivating storyline and character arc that dates back to World War II. Well, we know that since he doesn't age, he looked the same during the war where he teamed up with Captain America the Thwart Red Skull. If you're Logan, I'm your backup. I'm Captain America. Really? I never would have guessed. Decades later, his mind was erased and he had false memories implanted by a top secret agency. Logan became an operative who worked with Sabretooth, but they fused adamantium to his bones, making him the ultimate soldier known as Weapon X. However, 
After the procedure, he escaped and met members of Alpha Flight. Logan joined this Canadian team, but later left, realizing they were also using him as a weapon. Soon after, he met Charles and joined the X-Men. You learned to harness your rage as you found a home here. Where he instantly had feelings for Jean, but became envious of her relationship with Cyclops. I gotta go. Uh, Cyclops is waiting for me. So am I. I mean, he can't bear to watch them, and when they get married, Wolverine vents his anger by fighting Cyclops robots. Anyways, he's gone on many missions, which most often involve fighting his arch rival, Sabretooth. You always liked pushing around people smaller than you. While well, I'm smaller, try pushing me! Wolverine's crazy adventures are usually chaotic, as he unleashes his claws in Berserker Rage. We've got a job to do first. I go. I wanna go. Against powerful enemies, including Magneto, Sentinels, Apocalypse, Mr. Sinister, Silver Samurai, Lady Deathstrike, Juggernaut, Phalanx, and countless others. Throughout the series, he continues to have problems with his painful past and Cyclops. I know how you feel about it, Wolverine, but... You know nothing, little man. But eventually accepts that he will never be with Jean. She's happy. I love her enough to want her to stay that way. Wolverine chooses not to let his past and rage define him, as he displays his loyalty to the X-Men. He's my friend. I'm not gonna desert him this time. Protects innocent people and mentors the next generation of X-Men, like Jubilee and Morph. Number 4. Spider-Man, the Animated Series In continuity with the Marvel Animated Universe, the X-Men have an epic crossover with Spider-Man in the 90s series. It all starts with Spider-Man discovering that his DNA is mutating and fears he may not be human anymore. So he seeks help from an expert on mutation, Professor X, but is taken by the mansion's defense systems. Wolverine confronts him on his presence. He ain't gonna talk. How about we go digging for an explanation? but ultimately gets webbed up. After saving Spider-Man when he accidentally enters the danger room, Spider-Man confides in Charles. However, Charles reveals he doesn't cure mutants, But I don't want to be a freak! Watch your mouth, pal. Being a mutant's a gift. So enraged, Spider-Man leaves abruptly. As Beast wants to help him, Wolverine argues otherwise, and is shocked when Beast retaliates and chases after him. Come on, Beast. This ain't like you, and what makes you think you know me so completely? The next day, realizing that Beast has gone missing and being overly worried, Wolverine investigates by using his animal senses to track him down. A stinking trap! That punk's gonna pay. Big time. Believing Spider-Man is behind his disappearance, he locates, questions, and fights him when he won't answer. When they get attacked, Spider-Man saves him, and reveals that a man named Landon is bent on destroying all mutants. If you're lying, you're Phileas Spider, pal. I get the picture, Wolfie. So Wolverine teams up with him to break into his building, but his attempt to rescue Beast almost results in his own death. Fortunately, Spider-Man rescues them with Wolverine's acrobatic skills, but Hobgoblin's interference causes Landon to fall into a serum and transform. When he absorbs the city's power, growing exponentially, Wolverine, the X-Men, and Spider-Man team up to stop him. After saving Landon, Wolverine gives Spider-Man a valuable speech. No matter what problems you got, or mistakes you've made, you got friends if you need them. Number 5. X-Men Evolution Here's an underrated series featuring Wolverine as a much bigger mentor than previous shows. Like the animated series, Logan's past involved World War II, but he worked with the Canadian Special Forces. From what I hear, he's almost as tough as you are, which is a good thing. He teamed up with Captain America to liberate Polish prisoners and saved none other than a young Magneto. Long after, his memories became clouded thanks to the Weapon X program that gave him an adamantium skeleton, but also fragmented memories. He did escape, worked a bit for S.H.I.E.L.D., and eventually met Charles, where, no surprise, he became a pivotal member of the X-Men. Wow! Going somewhere, bub. This time, he never had feelings for Jean, only for one thing. Most beautiful bike I ever saw. I was so speechless, someone else bought her. He's much closer to Charles, and is his right-hand man for leading the team. So since most of the X-Men are teenagers, except Storm, 
Logan becomes a mentor and protective figure to all as he demonstrates his leadership skills and trains them for challenging situations. Uh, did I win? You can ask yourself that as you're going through the course again. When he suits up for missions, he sports an orange and navy one, but in later seasons, he gets a navy one with yellow accents and no cowl. It's no shock that a reoccurring theme is his ongoing rivalry with Sabretooth, uncovering his suppressed trauma, and rediscovering his lost past as the ultimate mutant slayer. Project Weapon X has been terminated. Wolverine is always in extreme pain and rage, but when he thinks it couldn't get worse, we enter his next major arc, his female clone X-23. She's a child, not a weapon. How do you sleep at night? After encountering her, she fights him, believing he's responsible for what happened to her, but Logan connects to make her understand. I'm the one person on this planet who understands you, and maybe the closest thing you have to family. His story continues as he has more challenging adventures with the X-Men, clashing with Magneto and his brotherhood, battling Sentinels, and leading the X-Men in their greatest battle to stop Apocalypse and his horsemen. Number 6. Wolverine and the X-Men In the final original X-Men series comes another underrated story that unfortunately only lasted for one season. Wolverine is clearly the main protagonist, giving us a glimpse into his perspective when he tracks down his target. In the past, James was an operative on Team X alongside Sabretooth and Mystique. When he discovers that they plan to experiment on Mystique, he sacrifices himself so she can escape. Don't wait for me! No! I'll find you! Subsequently, he was put in the Weapon X program and had his memories erased. Sometime later, he seeks help from Charles to recover his lost memories, but he spots Jean and quickly becomes interested, much to Scott's dismay. Why have a bald old man in my head when I can have you? Afterwards, an explosion caused by the Phoenix Force leads to Charles and Jean vanishing, prompting the X-Men to disband. One year after the incident, Wolverine encounters Beast and feels that an upcoming war demands that he reform the X-Men. So, what's next? We bring back the X-Men. They later find Charles in a coma and take him home, thanks to Emma Frost using Cerebro. You're on hollowed ground here, lady. Don't make me regret this. Suddenly, his consciousness reveals a disastrous and dark future because the X-Men disbanded. Hoping to change the future, he asks Logan to lead the X-Men in his place as the world needs them. We rise to the occasion because we're a team, and we got a job to do. Occasionally, Logan and Charles would then discuss preventing and altering future events. Still, after suiting up, Why aren't you guys geared up? I told you to get ready, so you should be ready. His adventures end in fighting Sabretooth, Magneto, the Brotherhood, Silver Samurai, Juggernaut, Sentinels, the MRD, and even the Hulk. Meanwhile, in the future, Logan survives, and no surprise, he remains unchanged. After locating Charles, I had a feeling you were still out there somewhere. And a few close calls. He and his clones team up with him and the Resistance to stop Master Mold before she eliminates all mutants. Number 7. The Superhero Squad Show Onto the show with uniquely proportioned characters in Superhero City comes the member of the Superhero Squad, Wolverine. It's just a sewer, Thor. Didn't realize it would offend your delicate sensibilities. In the first season, Wolverine and the squad face off against Doctor Doom, who plans to reforge the Infinity Sword with Infinity Fractals and conquer the universe. Alongside Iron Man and the rest of the squad, Wolverine takes on supervillains sent by Doctor Doom to retrieve the Fractals. You're not good enough. Why do people always underestimate me? <laughs> Besides the primary mission, he embarks on all sorts of adventures, like helping Silver Surfer adjust to Earth customs, joining the All-Captain Squad as Captain Canada. I'm Wolverine. <laughs> so, you don't like the new guy, huh? Returning to the X-Men to get his diploma because he dropped out, and mentoring younger superheroes like Reptile. Your job ain't to kick butt, it's to obey orders. Got that, Reptwerp? Wolverine also teams up on his adventures with other superheroes, including Captain America, Scarlet Witch, She-Hulk, Doctor Strange, 
and the heroes for hire. In the second and final season, the stakes are higher as the squad is up against Thanos, who's on a quest to gather stones and form the Infinity Gauntlet to rule the universe. They sometimes travel through deep space to foil his plan, but Wolverine's biggest storyline probably involves an adventure with his clones hopping everywhere in Superhero City. The clones are all over the city, running into each other, blocking traffic, starting fights. He sports a name tag to differentiate himself from his imitations and teams up with Reptile and Firestar to investigate. He learns that Egghead is responsible, and when they locate him, they fight monstrous Wolverine clones. Meanwhile, the squad goes around the city to round up his clones, all of whom have different personalities and accents. My ancestors were criminals deported from England. Oi, oi, oi! Australian. Put him with the other one. However, these clones start a revolution and battle the squad. Our only option left is open revolution. Revolution! Revolution! Number 8. Marvel Anime Welcome to the world of Japanese animation, where Wolverine is the only character to appear in all four miniseries. In the first one, he makes an entrance by saving Tony from an F1 car. Look who it is. Wolverine. It's been a while, huh? And then reveals his mission in Japan to locate AIM and the Zodiac organization. When Iron Man later gets into trouble with one of Zodiac's machines, Logan steps in again to save him. And Logan, try not to get in any trouble while you're here. Can't make any promises. In his own show, Logan is on a mission to locate Mariko Yashida, his kidnapped love interest. We were happy and she was ripped away from me. Tell me who took her. After learning of an arranged marriage to a crime syndicate leader, Hideki, Logan goes all out and stops at nothing to rescue her. But her father, Shinjin, stands in Logan's way and sends everything to stop his path. Logan, or should I call you Wolverine? Guess my reputation precedes me. Luckily, Logan meets Yukio, who helps him fight against armies and villains like Omega Red. Eventually, he confronts Hideki. Logan! Hey Hideki! Did you miss me, bub? And battles Shinjin himself, but Mariko dies in the crossfire. I tried everything I could to save you, and it wasn't enough. I have to find a way to go on without you. As we move on to the next series, the animation style may have changed, but it is still in continuity. Following Jean Grey's death, he reunites with the other X-Men when a mutant goes missing. After rescuing Armor, he and Cyclops lead the team in their first fight with the U-Men, an organization harvesting mutant organs. What makes you so sure it's the U-Men? Hell, I don't know, Psych. Maybe it's a lucky guess. Logan copes with the loss of Jean while arguing with Scott. I know it would have broken her heart to see you fall into pieces like this. Now man up and grow a pair. But pulls through to help the X-Men in their battles against monsters, the Inner Circle, and Neuron. In the final show, Logan crosses paths with Blade and Madripoor and initially believes he's working for the enemy. Still hunting vampires, huh? <laughs> I should have guessed. After being confronted by many vampires, Logan deals with the humans ambushing them, while Blade and Makoto finish off the vampires. While his adventure with them ends, he provides Blade intel before departing to locate AIM. Word is this group's got a mutant like me working for them. If it's true, you better watch your back. Number 9. The Avengers, Earth's Mightiest Heroes In the well-beloved animated series, Wolverine makes prominent appearances that leave a lasting impression. During World War II, Captain America leads the Howling Commandos on a daring stealth assault on Red Skull's fortress. Operating as a commando, Wolverine is known as James Howlett instead of Logan. And we witness him in action. Fast forward several decades, and he briefly appears as the Skrulls start infiltrating the human population. Nick Fury creates a board of superheroes to assess whether they're compromised, and Wolverine is featured in these photos. Given that Super Skrulls can shapeshift and replicate physical abilities, we witness a Wolverine and Cyclops hybrid as they invade Earth. After the Avengers stop the invasion, they confront Kang, who manipulates time and erases them from existence. This is when we finally see Wolverine in action. With time falling apart, he saves Spider-Man from dinosaurs. Hey, ugly! You want to take a bite out of someone? Try me. But goes on to kill them, much to Spidey's dismay. 
Was that really necessary? You just wiped out the dinosaurs. Again. You're welcome. Suddenly, Iron Man unveils the new Avengers protocol before his death, with Wolverine being one of the selected candidates. He and Spider-Man regroup with the other heroes to stop Kang. You think yourselves the new Avengers? Enough yapping. Let's do this. Although their initial efforts don't go as planned, Wolverine and the others divide and conquer. Hey Rocky, got a fastball in ya. While Spidey stops Kang's plan and saves the Avengers. In the finale, he's summoned when Galactus approaches, so he teams up with the Thing and Human Torch to thwart one of his heralds and destroy a planet devouring machine. Number 10 Ultimate Spider Man. Making his debut in the Ultimate Universe, Wolverine appears in his iconic brown and yellow suit and has several adventures with Spidey. When he arrives in New York, He's met with mind control civilians and Spider Man. Realizing Mesmero is responsible, he threatens him to release his hold. If you've done the math and you figured out that three is gonna hurt. Okay, I give. But things take a turn when Mesmero swaps their minds. Logan later awakens, confused, until Peter as Wolverine calls him. What did you do? What freaky thing did you do to me that I'm in your hairy beast buddy? After Logan encounters MJ, Baby, I do like me a redhead. Sabretooth attacks, and Logan retaliates by using his powers in public. Peter protests, so Logan suits up. Although he has trouble adjusting, they coordinate their efforts to stop Sabretooth and convince Mesmero to reverse the switch. Is everybody who they should be? <sighs> you slimy. Logan! After an unusual team up, their paths cross again as Wolverine battles Captain America, only to realize that Cap's the genuine article. You are the only person I know that smells like authority and vintage aftershave. And they're stuck with Spidey, as he reveals that the mutant arcade wants to cause World War III. Arcade's in the building. <laughs> I can smell them. And yet you can't smell yourself. <sighs> they play through each round of his games, which involve facing LMDs of themselves, Hulk, and Red Hulk. During a battle with Sentinels? Seriously? This is supposed to scare me? I've seen the real thing, bub! Wolverine is seemingly killed in action, only for him to make a dramatic return and stop Arcade. In his final adventure, he teams up with Spidey to traverse the Savage Land and recruit Kazar. I get it. The city boy is out of his element. Savage Land ain't so bad once you get used to it. Although they find him after a brief fight, he helps locate his kidnapped pet Zabu learns that Kraven and Taskmaster are responsible, and is forced to fight a savage Spider-Man. After curing Spidey, he battles Taskmaster to stop him, while the others deal with Kraven. Number 11. Hulk and the Agents of Smash Returning to the Ultimate Universe, amid a Canadian winter storm, a monstrous Wendigo Wolverine jumps on the windshield of the Hulk's jet. He ultimately causes it to crash so they can fight, and though Hulk's punches prove futile, Wolverine's healing factor returns him to normal. While initially confused, he meets the agents of Smash. So it's true, Hulk. You got yourself your own set of dwarves. Nice. And reveals that Wendigo bit him. With an entire resort populace transformed into Wendigos and no known cure, they must swiftly contain the spread before the world is exposed. Wolverine prefers to go it alone, relying on his unique ability to track Wendigos. Wendigo stench is thick. But I'm going alone. I'm the best there is at what I do. But reluctantly joins forces with the agents. As they're surrounded, they spot the Wendigo King, leading to a hunt while a horde of Wendigos pursues them. Luckily they find a tram to reach him at the mountain's peak. But when they're faced with waves of Wendigos, Wolverine makes a bold decision to cut the cables. After learning that the agents, except Hulk, have succumbed to the Wendigo curse, Wolverine doesn't hesitate to fight. Get it through that cinder block you call a skull. Ain't no cure. Hulk, however, holds back and gets infected. But they push forward to locate the Wendigo King's lair. After engaging more Wendigos, See what happens when you check your temper? You ought to write a book. You ought to read one. <clears throat> and confronting him, Wolverine's attacks prove ineffective despite his efforts. As Hulk transforms, but fights his commands, he throws Wolverine at the Wendigo King to destroy the necklace. This ends the curse, 
transforming everyone to normal. But while the people are initially afraid, Wolverine stands up for the Hulks. Number 12. Marvel Disc Wars The Avengers Stepping into another anime-style series, which opens in the pale moonlight shining over Tokyo, as Wolverine appears looking at the city. As chaos erupts in Techno Isle Tokyo, Wolverine emerges from the shadows in a uniquely designed suit to confront his arch-nemesis, Sabretooth. When it comes to those two things, I'm the best there is or ever was, period. Despite Sabretooth's escape, Wolverine stops a destroyer and regroups with the Avengers to talk, where he blames Tony. You built these gadgets and they've jailed my friends. You've caused a lot of suffering, wise guy. To give you a bit of background context, Wolverine tried to stop Cyclops from attending Tony's presentation on his newest technology discs, and he was right. Loki used Tony's invention to trap superheroes in the discs, including Cyclops and Beast, so he holds Iron Man responsible. Wolverine embarks on a mission to locate the discs, fearing that it will be the next generation of Sentinels to capture mutants, despite laws in place to protect them. During his quest, Professor X leads him to a powerful mutant, Noriko, whose bioelectric abilities could be the key to freeing every hero in a disc. Wolverine tries to calm her when she's scared. I was just trying to make her understand no, you don't understand. You've never been hated and feared like some kind of monster. But Noriko's later deceived by Loki's goons into stealing the discs containing heroes and villains. Teaming up with Hikaru, an energy class user. Cyclops. The guy's a bit straight-laced for my style, but he's got it where it counts. Wolverine with the temporarily released Cyclops stops Baron Zemo, Predator X, and saves Noriko. As the stakes rise when Noriko cannot release Cyclops and Captain America, the X-Men arrive to help find Loki. I can smell him. Loki's somewhere nearby, alright. After Wolverine battles more destroyers, Magneto suddenly arrives to handle the Sentinels. While Wolverine faces Sabretooth again, the others head to intercept Loki before he absorbs the powers of all the discs he stole. Number 13. X-Men 97 Here comes his final appearance in a direct continuation of the original animated series. With Charles taken to the Shi'ar Empire to be healed, Cyclops steps up as leader, but Wolverine still clashes with him. Gene may take the Boy Scout routine, but I don't much go in for being bossed around. And always throw sarcastic comments. Jeez, Dad, keep buzzing in my ear. What would we do if we ever lost you? Regardless, he's still a prominent team player when they face Sentinels and destroy Master Mold. And just when things couldn't get any crazier, Magneto takes control of the X-Men according to Charles' last will. If that wasn't weird enough for Logan, what was the professor thinking? We finally see him freaked out when Gene goes into labor. He's here! Ooh, apocalypse! The baby! And to add to the chaos, another Gene later appears. Beast reveals that the latter is the original, while the other is a clone Sinister created. Logan comforts the original Gene through her struggles, as he still has a soft spot for her, so he reveals how much she means to him when she tries to piece her memories together. This prompts Gene to kiss Logan, but he turns away. You're Gene Grey, he's Scott Summers. Those are the rules. You just forgot him for a sec. Elsewhere, tragedy strikes when an upgraded Master Mold wreaks chaos in Genosha and is responsible for killing thousands of mutants, including Gambit. Wolverine mourns his loss, and the X-Men uncover that a villain named Bastion is responsible, and they find themselves under attack by prime human sentinels. Wolverine goes beast mode to shred them, and we see this crazy shot of him and Nightcrawler fighting back to back. As tensions rise, Magneto declares war, and Charles dramatically returns. The man just declared war on the whole planet. His day ends one way. Wolverine then dons the brown and yellow suit for a fierce showdown with Magneto, resulting in him impaling Eric before he hurts Charles. But the tables turn when Magneto rips the adamantium out of Wolverine's body, leaving him fighting for his life. As he struggles, Cyclops and Morph offer comfort while we await his comeback. Don't you dare break her heart. Be the best at what you do. Heal. This season was fantastic, and though Wolverine was more of a background character, I feel that will change in season 2. He'll make a powerful return, as with the weight and poison of the adamantium gone, his healing factor is at its peak.
What's your favorite adaptation of Wolverine? Put on the clause and let me know in the comments. And hey, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to stay updated on my latest content. Thanks again to my patrons for keeping this channel going, and I'll see you all in the next video.